In this video, I'm going to be going over the top five cards for under 100,000 MT in NBA 2K23. My team, these are honestly going to be some of the best cards in the game at their position and some of the best value cards in the game as well. So the first card I want to talk about literally just came out yesterday, and that is going to be the Diamond Thurl Bailey. He is an absolute crazy card for under 100,000, and you can get this card for probably under 50,000 MT, which is just going to be insane, insane value for the Thurl Bailey card. As you guys can see, 65,000 MT right there, so definitely going to be under the 100,000. MT mark and like I said you can probably get him for about 50,000 I actually bought mine for 40,000 MT so looking at the card here he's going to be a power forward small forward and he's going to be six foot 11 so just like Giannis super tall for that power forward and small forward position and then when we look at the stats I want to compare him to a guy like probably maybe a guy like Obi Toppin kind of around the same level at least at the diamond tier he's got an 84 mid-range 83 ball so he's going to be able to knock down the three because he does have a really good jump shot honestly one of the best I've used this entire year on a small forward card six foot 11 it's an amazing jump shot if you guys haven't tried it out you definitely have to see it and try it out for yourself he's also gonna be really good at going to the rim with a 90 driving dunk and an 80 standing dunk but defense is where it's at for this card he's got 85 interior defense 85 perimeter or 85 perimeter defense 85 interior and then he also does have an 80 block and an 80 steal and you guys gotta remember he's got one of the best player models in the game just like a guy like Giannis, both gonna be very lanky and six foot 11 at the small forward spot so he's gonna play way better defense than these stats do show and then speed wise he's got 88 speed 88 acceleration with an 85 speed with ball and then taking a look at his badges he does have foreign hall of fame and this is where things get a little bit crazy he's got hall of fame clamp breaker and quick first step as well on a six foot 11 small forward who is basically just a budget Giannis and he's also got hall of fame vice grip and bully as well so I mean like I said this card basically just going to be a budget Giannis he's also got 30 gold badges including limitless takeoff masher post bank technician rise up catch and shoot claymore bailout hands for days hyperdrive post playmaker chase on artist clamps menace I mean just an overall crazy card at the small forward spot going to be one of the best value cards in the game the second best card for under 100,000 MT we're going to go back to the season two cards and we are going to look at the transcendent set and we are going to talk about the diamond porzingis who's dropped a lot in price he's actually under 50,000 mt now around 40,000 mt for this card which is absolutely insane considering the fact that he's probably still a top five center in the game i know we just got galaxy book shack and we have some really good centers in my team right now but I still think this diamond card is going to be a top five center and you can get him for under 50,000 MT and definitely under the 100,000 MT mark of the video. He's a seven foot three center and one of the best poppers in the game. 93 ball, 90 mid range. I think you guys probably know about Porzingis by now. Obviously just going to be a super demigod at the center spot. He's got a great player model, seven foot three, seven foot six wingspan. Going to be one of the best, probably the best popper in the game. He's also got 74 speed, 74 acceleration, which definitely doesn't make him a slow center, considering the fact that he's seven foot three tall. And then, and then Hall of Fame badge wise, he does have Hall of Fame limitless range, dead eye corner specialist, and catch and shoot as well, with also having 16 gold badges as well. So I mean, this card all around just going to be an absolute beast at the center spot, and definitely a top five card for 100,000 MT. Going over to the sets, actually, we are going to go over to the season two set i think it's a season two frontier cards yeah the season two new frontier cards we're going to be talking about the diamond kyle kuzma as you guys can see the dan Issel is going to be about eighty thousand mt and then the rest of the set is going to cost you about 20 to thirty thousand mt so overall i would say to get kyle kuzma is going to be about around a hundred thousand mt he might be a little bit overpriced but this card is still very very good for under hundred thousand mt especially the small forward spot he's going to be six foot nine and i will say right away his stats aren't anything too crazy 86 three ball 84 mid-range 80 standing dunk 85 driving dunk he's got an 86 ball handle he's going to be a solid defender solid rebounder and also got 85 speed 85 acceleration with a 79 speed with ball so you might you might be saying you know why is this card really good how is he a top five card for under 100,000 mt but it's going to be when we come down to the jump shot he's got one of the best releases in the game if you guys have used this card or played against him he's got one of the best jump shots in the game super easy to green and going to be very fast as well and that's what makes this card super elite it's not the stats it's not the badges it's just going to be the jump shot on kuzma like i said one of the fastest and one of the easiest to green so he is definitely going to be a top five card for 100,000 mt and then guys we're going to be going back to the fire set and we are going to be talking about the diamond Giannis, who i think is going to be a top five card for under 100,000 mt i know he's dropped a lot in price like he's down to 30,000 and maybe even a little bit a little bit below that which is just going to be such a good value for this diamond Giannis. yeah you guys can see under 30,000 mt 
is crazy good value for this Giannis card. He's basically not going to be as pink diamond, but he's going to be very, very similar. He's a power forward center, six foot 11. I think, like I said, I like him and Thurl Bailey. They're both going to be very similar at the power forward spot. But the thing that Thurl Bailey has over this diamond Giannis is the fact that he can play that small forward spot. Also has a better jump shot and a higher three ball as well. But I will say this Giannis card probably going to be better on the defensive side. Very similar stats, but this Giannis just gets crazy animations. But like I said, I mean, for 30,000 MT or below, he's just going to be such a good value card and definitely a top five card for 100,000 MT. You guys can take a look at the badges if you want to. He's got four Hall of Fame, nine gold, 13 silver, and 13 bronze as well. And definitely going to be a top five card for 100,000 MT. And then the last spot here, there is a bunch of different cards we could go with. And here's what I want to talk about something. So you guys might be saying, you know, all of these cards are nowhere near 100,000 MT, except for Kyle Kuzma. And you guys are definitely right. But unless I'm tripping, I can't really think of any crazy good cards for like exactly 100,000 MT. There's Kuzma number one. There's a guy like Josh Smith, who I was just about to mention. He's really, really good in about 60 to 70,000 MT. But I can't unless I'm unless, like I said, I mean, I know Gary Payton. He's somewhere around the 100,000 MT mark. So if you want to count Gary Payton in this top five, you guys definitely can. If you want to count a guy like Ray Allen, cards that kind of end for around 100,000, maybe 110, 125,000, you guys can definitely count them on the list. So guys, Guys like Gary Payton, guys like Ray Allen, they would definitely be in this top five. I'm just not exactly sure if I wanted to include them because of the fact that they're probably a little bit more, more like 125 to maybe 150,000 MT. Guys like John Wall, Pink Diamond Ron or Tess, sometimes they do end for 100,000, 110,000. So they definitely could be considered on the list. So if you guys want to include them, I'm just going to give you some names. Ron or Tess, John Wall, Ray Allen, even Clay Thompson, the Gary Payton, like all of these cards, you could definitely consider in the top five. But if we're talking about Cards that are actually under 100,000 MT. My top five would be Rudy Gay, Giannis, probably the Thurl Bailey, Kuzma, and then probably who is the other guy I talked about? Yeah, I would say Kuzma as the lock in, and then we're gonna go Diamond Thurl Bailey number two. We're gonna go Giannis number three, Rudy Gay number four, and then to round off the top five would be the Diamond, the Diamond Porzingis in the Transcendent set. That would be my top five for under 100,000 MT. But like I said, if we're not counting those cards, or sorry, if we can count those more expensive cards, guys like Gary Payton, guys like Ray Allen, if you guys wanted to include them in the list, I definitely think they would be somewhere in the top five. But let me know in the comment section down below what would your guys top five for 100,000 MT? 100,000 MT and below. Would you guys include these, uh, you know, Gary Paydens, you know, the Ray Allens? Would you guys include them on the list? And just let me know what you guys think about the best cards for, 100, uh, for under 100,000 MT. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.